this your boy Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. We got another one. We got your boy French Montana. Now, French Montana is a very, let's just say he's a very unique artist. Uh, he's he's had a new, he had numerous of mixtapes throughout the years. And he's been in the underground circuit. There was a rumor, well, I guess it's basically a fact that he was blackballed for a while. Uh, but by 2013, he was able to, to, to come out with his studio album, Excuse My French. And the crazy thing about this album is I was really excited for it. It was the album I was really excited for. Couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Back in back in 2013, 2012. Now, personally, in my opinion, and I'm I'm, I'm hesitating to say this, but um, French Montana really isn't. And I I love French. I love him. Don't get me wrong, but he's just he's really not that good. And he's good at making party music. You know, so... You want to get the party started, you just put in some French Montana. And it's the exact opposite of... Uh, it's the exact opposite of, of Travis Scott. You know, there's there's no thought to it. There's no... There's no difficulty to curve. You could just... Man, you had a hard day at work. Man, put on some French Montana. You know, you don't have to think about shit. Ain't worry about nothing. But uh, let's go over the the features. Now we got Birdman, Rick Ross, Young Cash, DJ Khaled, Movado, Ace Hood, Snoop Dogg, Scarface, The Weeknd, Jeremiah, Puffy, Drake, Wayne, Nicki. Raekwon, Neo, Rico Love, Chinks, Rest in Peace, Two Chains, MGK, King Los, Red Cafe, Trey Songs, and Loso. Now I think MGK should have got a little more shine versus this guy, but you know, who knows why it happened. Now let's go over the singles. Ain't worry about nothing. Gifted, popped at, freaks, marble floors, ocho cinco. Now let's go to his next album, which didn't come out till four years later. No, he had a. Uh, <clears throat> He had Mac and Cheese 4, supposed to come out uh, the year prior. Uh, he had issues. Now, physical copies still did come out for Mac and Cheese 4, so there's people that actually have it. But he scrapped it for some reason. Damn, man, they gonna get me demonetized. Uh, yeah, I see a bunch of pop-ups showing up. Cause my ass wanna download music. Come on, man. So, uh, waiting for another French Montana album. I mean, barely anybody says that. Let's be honest, but you know, he ended up coming. Mac and Cheese Four got scrapped. He ended up coming up with Jungle Rules the next, the next year, months, months after that. Uh, That's the project we got. I guess this is what he wanted to put out. He's probably having label issues because they didn't, you know, he, he couldn't market his music. But let's go over the features. We got Chinks, Sway Lee, The Weeknd, Max B, Travis Scott, Pharrell, Zico Nico, Quavo, Future, T.I., Young Thug, Marky Bassey, Alkaline, and Rico Love. It's fairly light on features for a French Montana album. 
let's go over this is probably the album he wants to release too uh, let's let's go over the singles hmm. the only one I know of is unforgettable this probably more I would have to do more research again this is a brief intro I'm not going to be going too much into detail. Hold on. That's my tripping. Okay. Let's go back. There we go. Now we got his latest album, Montana. Whew. Ooh. I got it way too quick. Let's go over the features. So we got Gunna, Juicy J, Kodak Black, Kevin Gates, Belly, Chinks Drugs, Max B, Rush, Post Malone, Cardi B, Chris Brown, Swaley, Party Next Door, Juicy J, Logic, ASAP Rocky, Quavo. Drake, City Girls, Blueface, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because I heard this song, because Blue, Blue, Blueface has a chance to be on the brief intro, but I heard this song, Slide, and uh, <laughs> with, with Blueface and Lil TJ. Uh, little TJ's one of these newer rappers. Uh, I don't even know where little TJ was. I don't know if he was on a hook. I couldn't even tell. I think he was on a hook. Uh, I heard Blueface verse. Jesus. Jesus Christ, dude. It's like it's like at this point, <laughs> I just I can't I just can't I just can't you know. Oh my god! I, I just, I just can't. I, I, I had to. I have to. I need a moment of silence for a second because. Tag me in the video. No, she didn't. Um, let me just end this. Let, let me just end this with uh, some recent, recent French Montana news. And this is probably gonna be old by the time this video comes out. But you know, you know how I do it. I take my time. Uh, so French Montana. When French Montana said that he had more hits than Kendrick Lamar, I almost burst, I almost, <laughs> I almost burst out laughing because I heard that say, I heard that say goodbye joint, and you 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 know it's bad. You know a song is bad when you're listening to the to the song. Because you know, we as the people were not expecting too much from these rappers anymore. But when you're listening to a song, right? You're listening to a song from these newer rappers, and you listen to the beat, and you're like, "Oh, you know, I, I vibe with that song. I like that song." But then you listen to a song, and the lyrics are so bad. But the beat's amazing. But the lyrics are so bad that you you're just like you're actually listening to the lyrics are so bad that you're actually listening to the lyrics because so we don't listen to lyrics anymore. You're listening to the lyrics and you're like, damn, he damn near ruined the song. That's how bad it was, right? So I'm telling my homie about the the the, the song, the say goodbye song. 
I'm like, the beat's so amazing, but he just, he just ruined the song. He still, he could not, he could not get through, he couldn't get through it. It made absolutely no sense. And I'm sitting here in quarantine, and this nigga said that he has more hits than Kendrick Lamar. I almost burst. <laughs> How how do you do that? Like how do you how can you even I mean French Montana I I get where he's coming from But that 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 is one of the most ridiculous statements I've ever heard in my life. Then again, I fell into the trap just like everybody else. He wants people to talk about him and listen to his music. And guess what? I'm talking about him and I'm listening to his music. Because I'm pretty sure that nigga knows that that shit is bullshit. He knows that's bullshit. He knows it creates a discussion just like I'm, I'm creating right now. So you know what? I'm going to stop talking about this. Uh, this is a brief intro on French Montana. I mean, guys, you know, they let me know what you guys think about French Montana. Um, me personally, he works. It, French Montana works. He works as an artist. Anyway, peace.